morning you guys welcome to vlogmas it's so very exciting it's december um and we are doing weekly vlogs this year let's see how that goes so welcome to the first of uh this year's weekly vlogmas vlogs um we are actually on a bit of a sad mission this morning i don't want to talk too much about it because i will definitely begin to cry but we are taking Mimi to a vet outside of London. She's been referred to a specialist vet. She is having surgery today. I hope you're not listening, memes. Um, the first of what will probably be two surgeries. She's having keyhole surgery today to um, do like kind of like a biopsy type thing. Um, she's not very well. Anyway, that's all you need to know for now. There's no point worrying about it because. Um, this 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 surgery should kind of tell us more. That's what we're doing this morning, and then we're going to have our normal planning Mondays. I reckon Mimi's going to have to stay overnight, so we might have to do this trip again tomorrow. But yes, I can I volunteer to do it? Because obviously we can do it, and it'll be nice for her to have family there. I'm going to do some reading whilst we are in the car. I've got Kate Atkinson's Life, um, not Life After Life. That's the one I've read. A God in Ruins. This is apparently like a companion book to Life After Life, but I read Life after life years and years ago I think probably around when it first came out I want to say I could be wrong on that but it was a good few years ago now and I remember nothing that happened but yes we are nearing the end of my reading challenge you guys um, I'm very excited to like I feel like the time of buying books is close and I'm very very excited about it and I'm trying to get as much reading done as possible before the end of the year, just so I can feel like I've truly achieved something. I will talk about it, I think, in a little, in a blog post, maybe in a video as well, how I found my little challenge this year, but I'm definitely gonna do something because it's been interesting. But yeah, anyway, I'm gonna read, I'm gonna start Life After Life. I just finished Their Eyes Were Watching God last night, which was really, really good. It was like, not anything I expected. It's such a famous book and I've read so much about it in critical material but I had never, obviously never read it and um, yeah it wasn't what I was expecting at all but I really liked it. But anyway you guys I'm gonna go because my arm hurts from holding this camera up. Oh and I've got different glasses. Um, David Clulo has like an offer where you buy one pair of glasses which I obviously did and then you get a second pair of frames at half price so that's what I did, I got a second pair of frames because why not? Because half price is kind of a big deal, especially when the frames and my lenses are so expensive. So yeah, these are also Oliver Peoples and I'm loving them. So Zach and I dropped the little baby off at the vet. Um, it was sad. She's gonna be in overnight, so we'll go get her tomorrow. But for now, we are going to go do our usual planning session in the place that I can't film. We go to White City House. Zach is picking dog shoe out of dog shoe. No, Jesse, don't tell him. I just said stepped in dog. Zach is picking dog shoe out of his vans with one of my hairpin. Classic vet experience there. But yeah, so we're going to go to to go and plan. And unfortunately, we can't film in there because there's sometimes slabs and we're probably gonna eat some food but I'll catch up with you guys later on and um, this week the plan is to just catch up on some things uh, bad news about the house I have not got an office up and running wow I was really optimistic at the end of October there I was like thinking wow we were gonna have an office working at the house that has not happened we have taken the carpets up I've actually not even been to see it with the carpets up apparently it looked a lot better for the pictures and the I've seen it does look a lot just like brighter and a lot more like a house under renovation rather than someone's old smelly house so um, so that's exciting uh, we've just figured that everything's just gonna take as much longer than we thought so we're gonna get someone in to sand the floors we're gonna get someone in to take the wallpaper off um, everywhere that's the next stage really but you know people are busy <laughs> and we need to wait for them to have the time to come in and choose the right people get the right quotes i figured in the end i've decided um we are gonna buy our like dining room table and chairs like that is the thing we're gonna do because everything's gonna take ages anyway i figured we may as well just 
<laughs> this part of the car park is so busy and everyone is just driving, <laughs> driving past me and Zach, Zach picking shit out of his shoe <laughs> and me filming myself. Anyway, it's like literally like car after car after car. Anyway, yeah, so I am going to officially buy furniture. In fact, yeah. So um, that's going to take me ages as well. We might do a proper bit of vin like proper vintage furniture shopping. We need to find the time to do all of that. So everything's being slow. So not much to show you on that front but anyway yeah so plans for this week just wrap some things up we have to do present christmas present shopping for each other we've done everyone else actually apart from my mum she needs an extra trip do a few jobs i've got various appointments tomorrow i've got new nails new i've got a haircut booked in i'm off sorting out clearing out just yeah sorting out clearing up um we've got a transfer We've got all of these presents on the top floor, which as you know, is already crowded. So um, we're probably gonna make a farm trip at some point just to get rid of stuff from the, um, from the house that we are currently living in. Presents wise, um, maybe take some stuff to the house as well, like the new house. So yeah, just sorting, sorting. Um, maybe we'll get a Christmas tree or something for, for the London house. That would be really nice. Zach's parents are coming this weekend and we're going to go see Hamilton for the second, uh, for the second time for me and Zach. I took him for his birthday this year and we're going to take his parents, my parents, Indy, everyone's going. We're going to have a great time, which is very exciting and have some nice dinners with Zach's parents and stuff as well. So all good stuff really, nothing too taxing this week. Guys, Zach and I have split up for the afternoon to do some Christmas shopping for each other <laughs> um, and I am off to Liberties looking Christmassy so I'm back home didn't feel much of shopping because it is well Cyber Monday I know that's supposed to be done online but the shops for a Monday were pretty busy and I suddenly got extremely hot and I was like right I'm not filming anything I'm just getting the job done um, I haven't got everything for Zach he's over here don't know what he's doing but now back home still roasting the jumpsuit is so warm and this house especially at the top is <laughs> boiling at the moment but look at my little christmas decorations some you may remember from edinburgh namely the merry christmas sign um put up some little snowflakes how cute i did this yesterday when i was not feeling so cute and it made me feel better Got a little J. I don't know where that's. I don't know where any of this stuff's come from, really. Advent calendars. We've got the Bare Minerals one this year. I'm actually just desperate for my chocolate. That's why I'm doing this right now. So I've got a little complexion rescue defence. Super cute. So useful for travelling. It's something that I think this is slightly different from the complexion rescue that I use every day. I think. I could be wrong. And then this year, instead of the dipsy calendar i've got the space nk calendar which is really cute it's like comes in little like looks like little books and there's volume three and four over there so chapter two here we go so sorry i had to come out here to make it focus but got a little slip silk scrunchie which is really cute hopefully that'll um have it so your hair doesn't kind of get all kinky so that's really nice and then finally i've got my lint calendar i'm gonna eat some chocolate now and lie down and try and cool down find the gap between the train and the platform Someone's been the worst vlogger in the world today, guys. It was me. I am very sorry. It's Tuesday, having one of those like free frame. How did you get to Tuesday night? And I'm gonna tell you guys. <laughs> um, so basically this morning, Zach and I were so tired. I have no idea why. I think it's just that we're reaching the end of the year. I've got wine by the way, because it's been that kind of day. Um, I think it's because we're reaching the end of the year. It's been a relatively busy year, lots of change because obviously Zach's come and started working with me, which has been fantastic. And we have been, we've got lots of plans, long-term plans, short-term plans. 
we're thinking all the time about things that we'd like to do. It's just got to that point in the year where you can't do anything really truly productive because you know it's busy in lots of other respects with Christmas coming up and we've got lots of like we're going to Edinburgh next week which is going to be lovely and so nice to spend some time up there at this time of year because I love to do that um, but it just gets in the way of being productive in other ways so we can't do much with the house can't do much with this I've fallen off the bandwagon a little bit with exercise I'm doing like about half as much as I usually would which I think is kind of because I'm really tired and I also kind of think that I'm tired because I'm not doing enough exercise so it's like a vicious circle but anyway I think it's just a strange in-between time where we're just kind of tripping over our feet trying to get the bits that need to be done done but there doesn't even seem to be enough time for those things jobs and stuff so I just don't know what I'm doing I'm just trying to get to the end of the year basically in one piece anyway that was a long reason as to why me and Zach slept until like nine this morning we were supposed to get up and go to the gym but we did and then because we overslept I actually had to do like some filming this morning before I went out because once I'd gone out I had lots of appointments around the city today which in and of itself totally great I went and got my nails done by Priya I got my extensions taken off I've only ever had gel extensions once before which was the first time I went to Priya um, and they were like gradient pastel tips and then the ones I just had were extensions because I had a couple of big breakages last time I went to her and I was like let's just I don't feel like doing short nails at the moment also some of them were like a lot shorter than others so we decided to do extensions which was nice um but now I'm back to my natural nails I think I might do extensions for Christmas again though but basically they're little kind of blue chrome with little kind of gold stars these are like a mixture of stickers and little gem thingies and I actually think they turned out like I wasn't really sure what I wanted when I went to see her and then they actually just turned out really nice and I'm kind of loving the short nails vibe I just I like to switch it up I like to do both I'm not to hold into one or the other and she lives on the other side of town to me as I've said before and then as I was coming back I realized that I actually had to be at my hair appointment in like less than an hour hadn't eaten by that point it was like 3 30 ish so i went to my hair appointment got my hair cut at blue tit on in portobello they have loads of salons now blue tit every time i go on the website i'm like wow you guys have really expanded this operation yes yeah, so we just got the, i just got the ends taken off and i also asked him to like soften the ends a little bit so i don't i usually just get a blunt cut um, especially when I'm like cutting it up here but I just liked when I had my extensions and then I took them out and the ends were thinned and I was like wow my hair doesn't have to look like a triangle so he kind of yeah wisped up the ends a little bit did a little bit around the front but still nothing crazy and then basically I didn't film it but it looked really cool it was wet and we were both kind of looking at it and he'd like it had a kind of natural wave in it whilst it was wet and we were like I think we like <laughs> I like the look of it wet I was like I don't want you to try it so I walked out with kind of semi wet look hair he had some gel in it and he was kind of diffusing it um, but because he didn't put loads and loads of gel in it it kind of didn't last very long so it, it looks its normal self again now but I am pleased we got a little bit off the length just to make it look like a haircut it was starting to look like a grown out something between two different haircuts um, and now it looks kind of a little bit more polished. I'm liking the longer length at the minute than I usually would because I'd usually cut it like to my jawline really bad. And I also am glad we're cutting it because I've still got this kind of reddish, darkish permanent dye from when I dyed my whole head a darker colour. So we're slowly cutting that out. I think there's like still a couple of inches left. Yes, he did a lovely job. I'm really liking the softened ends. Looking forward to playing with it a little bit. And then, anyway, he was like running basically an hour late. It was more of like 45 minutes late. So I then had to kind of run to my doctor's appointment. But it's just been crazy today because I had news about Mimi, which has been pretty positive. She doesn't have to have surgery for now. Um, we're trying her on a different medication food combo to see if that might be the cause and um, hopefully that'll sort her out and she won't have to have surgery but we'll obviously do a test again on her blood and her liver um, in a few weeks time and see how she's doing but that could be really great news oh thank goodness but mostly also we've had bad news about the house today and just not very happy with what's happening there 
So I think actually that's why I'm in a bad mood and that's why I've got the wine. Because to be honest, everything else has been good today, but most, but also I have been running around a lot, so I just feel a bit like dazed. But actually, I mean, the nails and the hair, a nice, a nice day for me. Um, but yeah, I was literally, I literally ran out the door this morning, and I had to leave the camera with Zach because he was doing the editing for the video I just filmed. So um, hence why I was really bad at vlogging. I was just like running around like a headless chicken. But anyway, please keep your fingers crossed for us in the house, you guys. I'm not really happy at the moment. Anyway, I'm gonna sip on this wine and um, be a much better vlogger tomorrow. What's the plan tomorrow? I'm gonna go to the gym at 7 a.m. and then I'm gonna come back here, film another video for a job, and then I'm gonna take my makeup off and go to another facial with Debbie Thomas. Um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you may have seen that I went for a facial with them a few weeks ago. I went regularly for facials with them like a couple years ago and then I stopped going probably around autumn last year, I'm not sure, just because my skin had gotten a lot better. And then in for October it just got loads worse, combination of like diet, stress and changing weather I think, I explained it all at the time to you guys, but anyway, my skin obviously got a lot worse It's and then so I decided to go back to Debbie Thomas get myself sorted out, probably going to keep going for regular facials with them forever now because I just think they do such a good job. I'm going for half an hour ones as opposed to I used to go for the full hour one but they are expensive so I'm just going for the half an hour every few weeks. Um, at the moment I've, I only went to this other one a couple of weeks ago but when you're first getting back into it it's best to go for a couple because she spent the last one mostly doing extractions this time a lot less extractions hopefully a bit more laser but yeah i go for laser facials there the extractions are great at just getting the stuff out of your skin they're very kind of clinical and good at them and um then the laser is great for all sorts like scarring long-term acne prevention it kind of reduces like your oil production and stuff like that aging if you're worried about aging yeah so they're great honestly they're really effective facials for me anyway and and they are super pricey but um, in my view it's worth it for me because it was a bit demoralizing throughout vlogtober to like watch myself go through what was for me like like a bit of a shitty time with my skin because it's just like oh when you're on camera all the time you just don't want to have to be thinking about it I think so yeah for me it is worth it and I know I'm lucky and most of the time you know my skin behaves it is getting much better i think combination with the facial and also just trying to eat a bit better drink a bit more water and use my the correct skincare not dry it out too much not moisturize it too much my skin is so reactive it's so difficult to get a good balance of those things and also not pick it i'm really bad at picking blemishes you can see on my face at the moment um, or you will see on my face at the moment are from me picking stuff i'm so bad at it um i had a good like year or something where i didn't pick anything and the good habit went out the window and the bad habit came back. Anyway, you guys, what a crazy, crazy day. I'm glad I took my book with me today because I got a lot of snatched reading time on the tube and whilst I was waiting for my hair appointment, etc, etc, and in the doctor's office. So that was all good. And I've read a little bit more of that, but not sure how I feel about it. I'm kind of like just a bit meh about it at the minute. I'm like enjoying it enough to keep reading it, but not... I don't think it's like a an amazing book. I don't know. I'm kind of intrigued to see where it's going because at the moment it seems to have lost its way um, with kind of jumping around in the timeline a lot, which is fine, but you kind of have to have like a bit of a focus, otherwise it just seems like kind of something pointless. So um, I'm wondering where it's going. There must be some sort of climax happening because otherwise it really is just like a, here's a man's life all in the wrong order. Anyway, I'm gonna go, you guys. No point in me vlogging more today because I've barely shown you today. Hope you all forgive me. I will see you tomorrow for, yeah, and then facial. And then after facial, it's a big sorting out day. I think I've put in that I'm gonna take myself to the tailors and get some things sorted because I have like a huge pile of clothes and we're going to the tailors. We're gonna sort out the spare room where I've been keeping a bunch of stuff basically that needs to be distributed among family and friends that sort of thing because on Thursday <laughs> sorry I'm being really annoying 
on Thursday we're gonna go back to the farm and just what we need to do is a big house swapsies like we need to take some stuff out to the farm namely the Christmas presents we need to bring some some stuff back from the farm because the farm's got into a bit of a mess at the moment as well because we were storing lots of stuff there but now we have the house we can store lots of stuff there so we need to take some stuff from the farm to the new house and then we need to take some stuff no we don't need to take anything from the new house and we need to take some stuff from here to the new house as well like uh, there's a pile of books that need going so that's what we're doing Thursday so tomorrow is preparation day for that get everything in the right place and yeah I'm really looking forward to having some stuff tailored as well because there's so many things I've bought recently that I absolutely adore but I just can't wear because they're too long or whatever um, so I'm looking forward to heading to the tailors and getting that sorted. But anyway, you guys, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna start rambling. Hi, my loves. Good morning. It's Wednesday morning. I have mm, might have lipstick on my teeth. Um, I have been to the gym this morning. Been to my PT session. It was okay today. I am just finding, yeah, like I said yesterday, exercise hard at the moment. I'm just tired want to do it and then I quickly filmed a little IGTV which should be coming to you soon it's of this makeup look I'm really sad that I have to take off some of it now I have to take off the at least the complexion stuff to go and have my facial done and my lipstick probably which is sad <laughs> I don't know whether to take it off myself or let her do it um I don't know but I don't really want to take it off but I had to do it pre-facial really because my skin after my facial is probably going to be not so cute so would rather not film like a makeup video after that that's so that's me this morning and then we might even go zach's going to take me to my facial and then we might go to the tailors and the dry cleaners and stuff and then we'll come back and start sorting through stuff here is my lunch thank you sir hi my loves it's a little bit later in d the day oh my god i can't speak i realized i did the classic me thing where i mixed up my dates and my facial is not till friday <laughs> And I realised this just after I'd taken all my makeup off. I was not happy. <laughs> so now I've put a little bit of makeup back on. But I'm going to sort out the spare room. Um, Zach's parents are obviously staying here this weekend. And it is full of stuff. Um, even if they weren't going to stay. This is something that we really need to doing. It's just like need to sort through various things that need to be distributed to people. So I'm going to do that today. <laughs> wrapping up all my clearing up need to get the stuff out of the house now really but i've put it all in the right place and organized it all so that's good um but i have a big box of goodies that i got in the reformation sale which is 30 percent off i rarely buy from reformation because they are so expensive so i thought i would make the most of the sale whilst it was happening so i bought some stuff and i'm gonna try it on now because i haven't tried it on yet and then see if i want to return anything and then i can get rid of the box <laughs> um so the first piece is Sorry, I'm doing one of these like kind of situations when it's like dark outside and I'm filming um, under these bloody spotlights, but alas. So we've got this skirt at first, which isn't coming up like much on camera. I probably need to wear just some Spanx or something just to like smooth the line out a little bit when I'm wearing it, but it's kind of like striped. I don't know if you guys can see that. There we go. And it's quite nice actually. I think it'll be nice like once I've kind of styled it up properly with some boots but yeah I think it probably needs some different knickers might need to twist it round a little bit as well so the kind of slit is in the correct place right my loves you may think I'm crazy but I think I bought four t-shirts because my white reformation t-shirt that I have is my favorite t-shirt I love it and I always wear it and then it's in the wash and I can't wear it again so I bought I think it was four. Um, this is the style I haven't had before. So this is the perfect vintage style. I think the sleeves are a little bit more capped and a bit shorter than the other style. It's a little bit more fitted on the shoulders and just generally through the body. Um, and I've got this in a black and a white. So that's the black one. Loving this, think it will look really nice with like jeans just tucked into things, underneath things, all of that kind of jazz. So those are couple of the t-shirts and this is the other style it's made of a much more relaxed material I think the white one that I already have of this style which is the Joplin is a size bigger I think I, I got these in an extra small but yeah you can see the sleeve is a little bit longer and it's a much kind of more relaxed softer feel material so I got this in a black and white as well and 
yeah, just really needed some some plain t-shirts that were also like a bit more fitted because I think all my plain black t-shirts, for example, are all oversized, which is great a lot of the time, but you know, when you want a plain, you just want them to go under something, then you need something a bit more fitted. So there we go. Okay, here's a piece that would qu require me to think about my bra situation a little bit better. <laughs> um, probably a no bra or like just stick-ons or something, but it's this gorgeous little kind of ruched crop top. I think it would look really, really nice just with jeans or whatever for the evening, especially when it's a little bit warmer again. And I like that you can adjust the straps, so you can retie them. But yeah, this this one would require me to do a little bit of fiddling around, but it will be beautiful, I'm sure, when I do get it right. Another piece that I think is going to look really nice tucked into things, layered under things, is this little um, knit top. This is also a Reformation jeans piece. It's the kind of thing that flatters my shape because it's got a little bit of a bust, so the V neckline is kind of flattering. But yeah, love this piece. I think it's really um, pretty, like kind of an understated pretty and I think I will get a lot of wear out of it. Another piece that would probably benefit from some more seamless knickers, um, but this is a gorgeous knit dress. It's much comfier than I was expecting, um, that kind of hugs, hugs all the right places. Got nice thick straps again, I love this kind of thick strap, it's always very flattering on, and yeah, it's just really pretty. So, big fan of that one. Again, nice for layering in winter, I think you could put a turtleneck under it, etc, etc, put boots with it, or you could wear it in summer in the evening I think, it'd be nice. Final and probably most exciting piece is this gorgeous dress. I looked at some of their other more kind of like boho -y dresses, more like Victoriana dresses, and I was like, I've already got dresses like that really, but I did wanna buy something good that would be good for like occasions and stuff, because um, I'm always looking at my wardrobe and thinking, I've got nothing here for an occasion, <laughs> um, but it was a bit different from stuff I'd already had. So I picked this dress and it's so pretty. I love it. It's got like, um, I think it's girls eating fruit or something on it. <laughs> I'm not sure. Obviously I'd wear it without a bra so you get, so you get the kind of full shoulder effect. I just love the way Reformation clothes hug you. I just think they're very flattering. Yeah, so finished up the clearing up. I've got one of those little stickers on my forehead. Oh my spot that I've got. So that, if it looks like I've got a stick on my forehead, I've got one on my forehead. Um, just having some dinner. It's rather nice kind of Tom Yummy style soup. And some Singapore noodles. Just nice. Just heating that up. I had a little nap. Oh, that's what I meant to say. I had a little nap. Which felt really good because I got up quite early this morning and I hadn't had enough sleep. And I think I really needed a nap, even though it was quite a late nap. And obviously late nap's dangerous, but I think I'm gonna be able to sleep later too. I've just come back upstairs, you guys, and I've realised I haven't done my advent calendars today. And it's the fourth today, which means I have I have eaten my chocolate. I was desperate earlier for some chocolate, so I have eaten that. I have chapter four, which looks pretty big in my Space NK calendar. What will it be? Kate Somerville, exfoliate, intensive exfoliating treatment. Nice. I um I don't often use things like this, but I know that I should because whenever they use them on me in like a facialist or whatever, I always feel better afterwards. So I will pop that with my skincare. I'm putting the boxes back in though because otherwise the whole thing's just gonna collapse. Then we have number four in my bare minerals one. This one's a little bit trickier, so I'm gonna come back to you. Okay, we got a baby tiny mini skin longevity Vica Power infusion, which is a lovely little serum um, which I do like particularly for priming so love those two gonna go and put them in my stash and I'm gonna get ready for bed and then I'm just reading so that's watching the football so it is time for me to settle into bed read my book hopefully finish it so I'll see you in a few seconds for Thursday. Good morning you guys, it's me, it's Thursday today. I did one of those things where I rolled out of bed this morning, went straight to the computer and just did something that I really needed to do. I needed to send something off, so I've done that. Send that off, um, so I'm feeling good now. I'm gonna get ready for the day shower, do all that kind of good stuff. And then Zach and I are gonna head out to the farm. He's at the tip at the moment, fun stuff. Um, and then yeah, we're gonna go out to the farm, take all this stuff out, sort stuff out there. Do a big switcheroo. Hi my angels, I'm ready for the day. Um, wear my new glasses. I've done some makeup to kind of match them, kind of pinky. And also, 
Don't I kind of look like a like a makeup artist today? I don't know, something about my outfit. I'm wearing these gorgeous velvet trousers that Zach got me. Uh, Zach got me. That very sent me. Then I'm wearing one of my new Reformation tees. Got all my great frog necklaces on. I don't know what shoes I'm going to wear. And I don't know what jacket I'm going to wear. I just thought I looked so much like a makeup artist that worked at Mac or something that like... I had to show you. Hi love, so we're in the car, in mum's car, because we've got so much stuff. I'm gonna head out to the farm for a few hours, basically. Hopefully get some food on the way, because I'm starving. Finished uh, A God in Ruins last night, and it had world's worst ending. Like, I was surprised nobody was absolutely raging about that ending that I could see on Goodreads, like. That, yeah. I, I almost took it from a two star to a one star. Um, in general, I thought it was like very unfocused. It was kind of flip-flopping around. And I remember liking Life After Life. I was a less discerning reader than I am these days. Less picky. I do sense from review, some, some reviews I've picked up on that Life After Life is just a little bit more focused because it kind of covers Ursula's life um, and she kind of relives it, like she dies and then she comes back again and she gets like another go and this time she doesn't die where she originally dies etc. And that's quite focused whereas this one really jumped around in its timeline a lot for no particular reason. I just felt like it was a bit of a tack on to life after life but not in a kind of didn't have its own reason for being. I think if you're gonna do that, it has to have its own reason for being. You can't just like do a sort of similar thing because it worked the first time round. You have to have you have to have focus. Anyway, it didn't have focus and I just yeah. I thought some of the sentences were nice, like some of the writing was nice, some of the writing was a bit overwrought. It was geared towards making you cry, which I always really like. I get really aggy about that. I know that's definitely a, just a me thing but like if some if an author is like very overtly wants you to cry I just feel like that's really annoying <laughs> yeah not not the best not the best book I've ever read and I, I don't think I would recommend it sadly but I did keep reading so I'm always like oh I can't really give it one star if I didn't actually if I actually finished it because you know I didn't hate it that much so I ended up giving it two stars of Goodreads, but I think it's more of a 1.5 because that ending really was terrible. Anyway, now I am reading Vernon Subutext, Subutext 1 by a French author, what she called Virginie Despentes. And she is like the Frenchest lady I've ever seen. Like, look at her author picture. She's got a cigarette hanging out of her mouth. I mean, wow. Is that the French thing you've ever seen? Anyway, I'm on one today. Yes, I wasn't originally that excited about this. I bought it because it was shortlisted for the Man Booker International in 2018. I do find the Man Booker International a little bit of a hit and miss, even more so than the normal prize, um, or the English language prize, rather. But then I discovered a bit more about it, and now I'm feeling slightly more hopeful that I'm going to like it. Um, it's the first in a trilogy, I think. So if I like it, there's more. There's more where that came from. Um, it's about... I'm just going to read the back. Vernon Subutex was once the propri proprietor of Revolver, an iconic music shop in Bastille. His legend spread throughout Paris, but by the 2000s, his shop is struggling. With his savings gone, his unemployment benefit cut, and the friend who had been covering his rent suddenly dead, Subutex finds himself down and out on the street, Paris streets. He has one final card up his sleeve. A throwaway comment he once made on Facebook is taking the internet by storm. The word is out. Vernon Subutex says, <laughs> why are you laughing every time I say it? has in his possession the last filmed recordings of Alex Bleach, the famous musician and Vernon's be benefactor, who has just died from a drug overdose. A crowd of hunters from record producers to online trolls and porn stars are now on Vernon's trail. Um, so there we go. I always, I don't know, I think it's because, I think the reason I wasn't particularly looking forward to this book is because I, I'm a bit wary of music books because I'm so unversed see what I did there, in music culture, really, especially like the kind of music culture that writers often write about, that I always feel like something's going to be lost on me, and it's like, I'm just not going to get it. I get a bit nervous about music books, but we'll see. 
um, I'm not very cultured in that respect, you know, so. Okay, tell everyone you've got a shit music taste. It's not shit. <laughs> anyway, my arms hurt from holding this camera. This is the problem with this camera. It's like, it's a great vlog camera, you know, compact, good video, but it's bloody heavy. So I hold up all the time. Oh yeah, I just want to go back quickly to A Garden Ruins. I just wanted to say, with the thing, with all the jumping around in the timeline, it just pales in comparison to something like Slaughterhouse Five, which is also a war movie. In fact, about very similar war movie. See, this is what I'm saying. What's wrong with my brain today? A war book. I need something to eat. I need something to eat, definitely. Um, also a war book, also covering quite similar things, but and but the the jumping around in the timeline totally works because it's like almost like a weird sci-fi thing and it just yeah that book is great read that book don't read a garden roads okay bye <laughs>
Um, we talked to someone who restores floorboards, basically, old floorboards. And he said, you can't get rid of these because they're really nice and they will definitely look nicer again once they've been sanded. And he was talking about how, I don't know if you guys can see, but they're actually like one long plank all the way across the two rooms, which he was just like, they don't do them like that anymore. Um, to have like such long planks. So we're definitely- short ones, that one there, that one there. Oh yeah. Two of them are. Oh yeah, there are a couple of short ones. But yeah, lots of them are all the way across, which is, which is actually kind of crazy if you think about it, because it's quite a long space. So yeah, I'm so excited to see it. So he said he's gonna probably like, well, whoever we get to do it, will like take them up, put some stuff down so they're a bit more insulated, a bit less noisy. We'll obviously have rugs and stuff anyway. Um, they need sanding down to get rid of some of the like, there's a lot of like watery marks. I don't know what those are. So they need sanding down, but I think they will be really beautiful and I'm glad we've decided to keep them. So that's what we're gonna do. But it is looking, looking better just from like that one small thing. So you can see there's quite, I think in the rest of the house, we're probably gonna do something else. Um, but those ones we'll keep Ooh, feeling a little bit questionable. Um, but yeah, I think in the rest of the house, we'll probably do some form of reclaimed um, wood, but the, the other ones seem a lot more damaged. Oh my God, it's actually quite scary. He also said for the flooring guy to, to keep these. Don't know if we can like restore them. They're pretty old, I think. These are the ones in here. But I think because, because this wall was put up, it's probably less salvageable, this wood, because it's gonna be one big room. Got some sort of fireplace situation there. But yeah, it's looking good, I think. It just looks a bit fresher, doesn't it, really? Hi, loves. So, I've just been reading, we just watched MasterChef, eating some dinner, and um, I've just been reading a bit more of my book, but I think this one is a put a downer. It's a did not finish situation because I'm just not loving it. It's kind of about a lot of dickish men and women who are just a bit unlikable and awful and racist and sexist and all the bad stuff and I think it's kind of like about the state of the nation and culture and how bad that is but at the same time it's not very pleasurable to read and I think it's just going to continue to be a bit depressing in that sense so giving up with this one um I thought the writing was actually quite like readable and that and I was going to press on with it but then I was like do you know what I've just read A God in Ruins, which I ended up not liking very much. It was like really long and there's no point in me reading 350 pages of this as well, which I'm not fully invested in at this stage. So it's, 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 being, it's being put down and I'm gonna start a new book. I don't know what yet, but I'm gonna start a new book. Right, my loves, I'm back on the camera now. I have got up. Um, I went to a PT session early this morning, then went straight from there, I showered at the gym, and then went straight from there to my facial, and I forgot to bring my camera this morning, so. Hence why I have not said hello to you today. Today is Friday. Um, I just, I have to show you this hallway, because it won't last, but this hallway has been full of stuff for months, months and months and months. It's just like my loading zone when I have packages come in and I'm not ready to put stuff away yet or it needs to be moved or it needs to live somewhere else or something needs to live in a different building. This is my zone where I put everything and it is currently clear and it is making me so happy. Every time I walk outside of my room, I'm like, this is the most gorgeous thing ever. Um, Mickey's obsessed with sitting on the toilet. Sitting on the toilet. Obsessed. Anyway, so yes, so I went to my facial that I thought I was having on Tuesday and um, it was really good. She said my skin was much better, which I agree. It is much better than the last time I went, much less congested and the scarring's going down and I'm getting fewer spots between facials. Like they honestly, they're so expensive, but they are really effective. And I'm only going for half an hour one. Oh, I just saw a parakeet. I'm only going for half an hour ones as well at the moment. Um, anyway, I'm gonna go back in six weeks, she said. 
to keep going. She'll do extractions and then a bunch of laser and um, that's what she did today and it was great and they do the hydrofacial things. So they've just kind of sucking out all the bad stuff. I do, however, look a little bit red um, and gross at the minute, the camera not making it look so bad, but I am pretty patchy and red. I'm gonna try and leave it for as long as possible before I put makeup on, um, just to let the products that she put on afterwards sink in by themselves for as long as possible. Um, but Zach and I are obviously seeing Zach's parents this afternoon, this evening. Um, we're gonna go for a casual pub dinner, I think. Nothing um, too crazy, but that'll be really nice. I'm excited to see them. We've got a nice weekend planned which I'm excited for. And I can't wait to see Hamilton again tomorrow. I'm so excited. Now, I am kind of supposed to be catching up with my book reviews all day. I always used to post a monthly um, blog post along with the book video, but I got behind over summer um, for various reasons. Um, so I'm trying to catch up. I've written July's, um, but I'm only just halfway through Augusts, but I have written Novembers, which I usually don't do. Um, I'm trying to write them as I go these days um, because it makes a lot more sense because um, that way when I come to actually speak about the books in my videos, I can kind of sort of refer back to my review that I wrote at the time when everything's still fresh in my mind. It just, it makes total sense, but it's something that I've been too lazy to do so far. But anyway, I've done Novembers. I need to catch up. I need to do the first couple of books I've read in December. This is very boring. I'm, I need to write some book reviews, basically. And that's the end of that. Hi, my love. So I think I last spoke to you when I was writing my book reviews. But since then, I realised I had to go to a wax. So I went to my wax. I'm very fresh now. I'm like fresh nails, new hair, facial, waxed. I am officially prepared for the festive season. Um, Zach's parents are arriving soon. Popped on a bit of makeup, not loads. But just a nice, this is like a nice everyday look. Um, and, oh, oh, I think these are scratches from where Mickey was having a go at my arm. Yeah, and then Mickey and I had a little nap. And yeah, then I got ready. Um, wanted to show you what I was wearing today. One second. So, this is my outfit today, you guys. I have worn similar iterations of this outfit quite often recently. But I'm wearing my Ray jeans again, my blue ones. I really need to iron this so it stops sticking out. Um, a Reformation tee, just one of the white tees, and then I'm wearing this coat that I found at the farm yesterday. It is an old Alexander McQueen coat that I spent my A-levels in, basically. I wore this every day. I remember having naps in the common room in this coat. <laughs> um, I love it. I archived it a few years ago because I think I'd just overworn it. But yesterday, I found it at the farm, and I was just like, this is really cute. It could probably do with, you know, those like bubble machines. I think we've got one downstairs. I could probably do to like de-bobble it. I've just lint rolled it because it was a bit filthy. Could probably do to dry clean it to be honest, but it's really nice. I love the shape of it. It's got a kind of slight shoulder pad, comes in at the waist a little bit. It's very, very beautiful. I believe this coat is from the last collection that McQueen designed as well, um, which is a little bit special as well, obviously. Um, McQueen himself, I mean. And then I'm just wearing my Nike trainers. I just, yeah, I love this kind of look. It's so simple and easy and I feel like it looks quite chic. Also, this package here, this grey package, which I am going to sort out now, I think, is full of... I decided to order some period pants um, as, like... Because I've heard great things about them and a bit more eco-friendly, aren't they? And just generally sound amazing. And basically... Yeah, they just work like pads essentially, but they are knickers. And I bought absolutely loads of them. So we'll see, unfortunately they're a couple days late. <laughs> so I can't test them out, but I will let you know next year sometime how I'm getting on with them if you're interested. Hi my love, so I've been a terrible vlogger today, but got up this morning and went to White City House for a long, lengthy brunch. Had a very brief trip into Westfield. And then we came home and just been chatting downstairs. And now we are kind of getting ready. I'm not gonna do too much, but we're gonna get ready. 
got an early dinner, obviously pre-theatre dinner, and then we're going to go see Apple dinner. Looks like. I'm wearing these jeans, but I think I want to be in something comfier for dinner. So I might change back into those velvet trousers I was wearing a couple days ago. Hi my loves. So, been a bit of a shit vlogger over the past couple of days, but that is always the case when I am hosting. But I had a really lovely weekend with Zach's parents. And yes, it's Sunday evening now. Zach and I are going to pack for Edinburgh where we are heading off to tomorrow. So that is all going to be in next week's vlog. So there's going to be a lot more doing and seeing for you guys in next week's vlog. This week, I think we were just kind of wrapped up in getting things sorted out and um, obviously spending time with Zach's parents and having a nice time, eating lots of food, going to see Hamilton, which was great fun. And... Yeah, I'm even more obsessed with Hamilton now. I think it was like better the second time around because I kind of knew the songs and knew the storyline and stuff so I didn't have to kind of work out what was going on. But anyway, I'm going to wrap up this vlog, you guys. But I do have to say I'm about to fill in my postal vote for the UK election, general election. So, and I'm going to send it off tomorrow morning, first thing tomorrow morning. I really wanted to talk to you guys about it because it is very important to me and... I know that some people get a bit up in arms when people introduce politics onto their channels and into their kind of social media and stuff. Um, to me, it's extremely important because I think that, well, I am voting Labour um, because I believe in them, believe in their policies. And also, at the same time, I think the Conservatives are dangerous to many people in our society particularly the most vulnerable but you know it really affects everyone and i really believe that i spent a lot of time during my masters reading about because it was, it was called contemporary literature culture and theory and obviously a big part of contemporary culture is austerity and i've read a lot about it and i spent a lot of my masters thinking about it and yes i find austerity and cuts extremely dangerous. It's really top of my priority list when I'm thinking about who I'm going to be voting for. And I believe in what Labour is proposing to do. I believe in better social welfare. I believe in the NHS. I believe um, Conservatives are dangerous for the NHS. I do think they want to continue privatising it. I believe in better public facilities for people and I think all those things are extremely, extremely important. And I also think Labour's got it right when it comes to Brexit, you know, we need something else. I don't really believe a lot of what Boris says about Brexit. I think a second referendum would be good if possible and I think all of those things you know so that's why I wanted to talk about it because it is so important it is kind of a matter of life or death for a lot of people in society in our society you know people that are the most vulnerable I generally find myself pretty um inarticulate about these things and I read more intelligent people talking about this stuff um all the time and I have really done my research and I feel like I've educated myself enough to at least tell you guys that I will be voting Labour. I do think tactical voting is a good idea if you're kind of in a Tory Lib Dem constituency. The best website is tactical.vote or something, isn't it? I will put a link to it anyway. I do think there's been some misinformation recently about uh, some of the seats though, so do, yeah, like I said, research it properly if you are planning to vote tactically, but I am voting Labour and I am very proud to be doing so. You know, I believe in compassion and empathy for other people, and I believe that, and I think that Labour um, really has that for people, and I feel like the Conservatives really doesn't have the best interests of the majority of the population at heart, and I think you have to, even if you don't agree with some things, or I've obviously heard a lot of people say they don't like Jeremy Corbyn for whatever reason, um, I think you have to vote in the way of hope and in the way of moving forward, something positive, change, um, and just like moving things along towards a better place rather than backwards, whatever your reservations about other things. Yes, anyway, so I wanted to talk about that because, you know, it's been foremost in my mind um, over, well, 
since the campaigns began. I've been thinking about it all the time, discussing it all the time, and it would be remiss of me not to include that in the vlog. So that is it from me, you guys. So next vlog will be mostly in Edinburgh, and then I have a weekend with my girls at the farm as well, which will be really lovely. So it's gonna be, yeah, gonna be a much more action-packed week next week. A lot less rambling from me, probably. And um, yeah, I'm gonna go fill in my postal vote now. Thank you guys for watching today. I will see you this time next week. Bye.